back with another vlog and it is Saturday morning and I just talked to Soraya um, on Instagram. She got a taxi headed my way to come pick me up and then I'm going to meet her down at the station and I'm going to see what she has in store for me, um, what she's going to show me. I do know that we are going to have lunch um, somewhere. I think she said uh, there's a hard rock cafe here so I, I do remember her saying something about that and she was going to show me a few other things for you guys to see all right so with that being said let's keep it moving all right you guys so we are back at the famous train station slash uh cathedral you can see here here it's a little earlier so it's not as crowded as it was last time I am going to, because honestly, I think I might have beat Soraya here. I'm going to run over here to Starbucks, grab some coffee, and get some internet so I can try to reach out to her. That's why I was like, this is my Yeah, I, yeah, I grew up on this. Really? Oh, Where yeah. are you from originally? Uh, Cincinnati, Ohio. Yes. Yeah, that's They gotta change, yeah, let me get them to change. you all been waiting for That's <laughs> the, the most viral woman on um, yeah, the internet right the <laughs> so hold on so let me ask you this what was um was it the was it the clip that i already reacted to or was it um no, more recent one of the other clips i was actually talking about how i met my husband how i fixed him this that and the other but the problem is somebody just started to snip it out of the video put a whole different caption on it took it all out of context Everybody mad all over the internet. I mean, the whole world hates me. As far as like some women, but it's cool. We can deal with it because you know it's not true. Whatever I said, it's not true. <laughs> but I already made another video and I clarified the whole situation. Oh, uh, okay. I already seen that many people again took another part of that video and took it out of context. God, oh my god. Yeah, I'm 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 gonna have to react. I'm gonna have to find that video and react to it. I'm gonna have to see what it's about that. I'm gonna sit to see what that's about. Uh, so I so I, I'm so I'm guessing it's the um 
the African American women that are triggered, right? I, I'm guessing. Yeah, I, I guess. Yeah, it, it is what it is. It is what it is. It is to be expected. But I, my only thing is, it's like, because I've always been, I've never had an issue with interracial dating. I think my thing is that when it comes to black women, they only frown on it when it's a black man dating out. An average black man. Yeah, yeah. And the thing is, they think black men, like, they think we, like, get upset like they do, but we really don't. Like, we re like it doesn't bother me. Like, when I see a black woman with a white guy, it doesn't bother me. I'm just kind of like, hey. I mean, I don't think they mind either, to be honest with you. But I think when you throw a certain experience, throw it out on the internet, they don't like that. Mm. And then when they see the reaction from men, that's what they don't like. Ah. Yeah, yeah. Everybody, but, you know, the comments, the reaction videos, most definitely the response and the feeling that I got. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Sad, they don't want to learn. A lot of them don't want to learn. Mm -hmm. It doesn't take much to really have a healthy relationship, but um, we can all have it. But if you focus on money, your career, your likes, and your views on social media, that's, I guess, it's all you. Yeah. Right? Yeah, you're right, you're right. So what? So what is this area? Cause this is this area is new to me. You guys, it's like literally like what? Maybe like uh, not even 50, 100 meters away from the cathedral. So like this is like basically like an area where it's like a bunch of shops and stuff at. Exactly. That's like the shopping area. If you videotape down that. Everything they're looking for. Oh, okay. Very colorful, very diverse, very crowded. There's always something going on. Yeah, I see the, you see, y'all see the vibes, y'all. Um, yeah, and plenty, 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 plenty of beauty around too. I'll, I'll do my best to not, I'll do my best to not keep the camera on me. <laughs> so like they'll, they'll get on me about that. Oh my goodness. This kind of reminds me of Japan, mm -hmm. but just like obvious without the Japanese writing and stuff, but like the signs and it kind of kind of got that Japanese feel to it, but not like, you know, but interesting. The thing about it is also they have like the little strips, especially called Chinatown, but that's mainly in Dusseldorf. So since we're here in Cologne, they don't really have that. In Dusseldorf, they got Chinatown, they got like the little strip. Where you got Japanese stores, African stores, Turkish stores, so but they kind of keep to themselves. And here you got everything. Heck. Okay, now. <laughs> now is Dus Now you said Dusseldorf is like, like you said that's like 20, 30 minutes from here. Yeah, that's not. No, it's like yeah, 30 to 40 minutes outside. Oh, okay. Now is Dusseldorf about the same size as Cologne, or no, maybe a little smaller? smaller. Oh, really? Cologne, most definitely bigger, but Dusseldorf is smaller. But it's, it's kind of like like Hollywood I say as far as like the women um, very beautiful women but also kind of stuck up sometimes too. Uh. You know, right here it's kind of down to earth but in this you've got stores like Sada, Gucci, Fendi uh. and when you are on that strip you can clearly feel the different energy you know? uh. people really kind of got the nose up in the air I personally don't like it. Uh, okay. Out here too. Says some what? Crazy characters. <laughs> Crazy characters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, I'm like, I'm hearing hip hop music too. I'm like, okay. We got fries. Fries are pretty big here in Germany. Oh my God! Let me tell you, I had chicken schnitzel for the first time yesterday. Oh, it was so good. I was like, <laughs> I was recording it. I was like, yo, because one of my subscribers was like, 
Rome, you gotta try the chicken schnitzel before right. you leave. I was like, okay. I'm like, dude, I can eat this all day. Right. Like, what? Especially if you had it for the first time. Did you oh, have some salsa yeah. on there? <laughs> um, no, actually I didn't. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, I just ate it with fries and like a salad. Mm -hmm. And like even the fries were really good, like well seasoned and like I like them because I like my fries to be like kind of crispy, but not too crispy. It was it was perfect. I was like, ooh, and it was like a it's a place. What was the next name of that place it's called? Pizza Paradise. Mm -hmm. So it's like maybe like not even a five minute walk from where I'm staying at. Um, and but they serve a little bit of everything. Right. You know, they got like chicken alfredo. I get their chicken alfredo too. That's pretty good. Right. Um, yeah, they got some really good food. Their pizzas are pretty good as well. So. We've got a lot of Italians here. Of course, they're pretty big on pizza. Yeah, because they, they even got Turkish dishes too. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. If you want a Turkish dish, you're going to have to order the Turks, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, this is dope. To so called CBS, I guess. Writing, yes. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right. Go to DM if you want to get any hygiene or whatnot, you guys. Okay. Oh, a lot of stores have changed. Are they, are they big on the sneaker game? Because I'm noticing a lot of uh, sneaker stores. Yes, yeah, most definitely. Hey, we can go check it out. Go check it out. Why not? You want to film in here? Uh, um, if they if, if they don't if, if I mean I don't have to. It's not a big deal. Oh my God, that air feels so good. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll just cut it out just to be on the safe side. But yeah, you guys, if you've seen one sports apparel store, you've seen. Okay, you guys. So we are here. Let me see. How you say that? Um. Uh, Soraya? Donel Kebab. Donel Kebab. I'm not joking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, and what's this dish that you gave me? Is well, this, this, is, this is called Donel right here, and it's basically beef. You can choose between beef and chicken, obviously, with some bread and some vegetables as far as green salad. Okay. You got some type of yogurt sauce, a whole lot of onions, literally everything you need for a quick snack. Okay. Mm -hmm. And serve with some fries. Mm -hmm. And what did you get? I got myself a lahmacun. It's basically some flatbread with some ground of beef and the salad. Okay, yes. okay. And she said this is a traditional uh, Turkish dish yes. and I had her choose it for me because that's what the experience is about, guys. Trying new foods. Yeah. I gotta be honest with you guys, it looks and smells delicious. Alrighty. Let's see. So let me prop this up. Oh my god, this looks so big. Like, how do I eat this? I just. You're gonna have to eat it messy. There is no. <laughs> I can see that because I'm looking at it that. like it looks so. So, if you bite into it and everything falls all over the place, that's how it's supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> like, all right. especially when you're drunk, that makes it even worse. <laughs> oh lord. Well, enjoy. Okay. This looks good, you guys. Oh my god. It's my first time ever eating Turkish food. Mm -hmm. Like you won't find a German city without this dish. We gotta see what the fries talking about though. Hold on. Cause I like the way that seasoning look. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. And it's funny cause Thailand, they got like Turkish, they got like kebab restaurants everywhere in Thailand. So Is it I like operated by Turks? Yeah. Oh really? Yeah, you'll actually see, you actually, I've actually met quite a few Turkish people in Thailand. Oh, wow, I had no idea. Mm-hmm. You guys were everywhere. Mm-hmm. 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 
I guess you're not gonna do a lot of talking while you eat. All you mm -hmm. gonna do is make sounds. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, I'm about to cut this and enjoy this. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you guys, it's good. <laughs> Sheesh. Y'all saw that, right? 